I want to assure you today, with every ounce of sincerity and love in my heart, that God is not only there, but He is working on something special for you. Yes, for you. Right now, in this very moment, God is weaving together the threads of your life into a beautiful tapestry. You may not see it now. You may not understand why certain things are happening. But believe me, God is at work. You see, we often focus on the things that are going wrong in our lives. We see the closed doors, the missed opportunities, the setbacks, and we think that maybe God has forgotten about us. But I want you to shift your perspective today. Instead of focusing on what is not happening, I want you to focus on the possibility that something amazing is about to happen. God is working behind the scenes, preparing something that is beyond your wildest dreams. Let me ask you this. Have you ever felt like you were waiting for something, but you didn't even know what it was? You just had this feeling in your heart that something was coming, something big, something that would change your life forever. That feeling, my friends, is a sign that God is working on something special just for you. Now, I know that waiting is hard. I know that when you are in the middle of a storm, it feels like it will never end. You feel like you are stuck, like you are going nowhere. But I want you to understand that waiting is not wasted time. Waiting is part of the process. It is during these times of waiting that God is molding you, shaping you, preparing you for the blessing that is to come. Think about this. If you were to receive everything you ever wanted right now, would you be ready for it? Would you know how to handle it? God knows exactly what you need, and He knows the right time to give it to you. He is not late. He is not early. He is always on time. So, trust in His timing. Trust in His process. My dear friends, God sees the tears you have cried, the struggles you have faced, the battles you have fought. He sees the times when you felt like giving up but you kept going. He sees your faithfulness, your perseverance, and your heart. And because of that, He is working on something special for you. But here is the key. While you are waiting, don't lose hope. Don't let the enemy plant seeds of doubt in your mind. The enemy will try to make you believe that God has forgotten you that He doesn't care, that your prayers are falling on deaf ears. But that is not true. God hears every prayer. He sees every tear, and He is working on something special for you. So, what do you do while you wait? You keep trusting, you keep believing, you keep hoping, you keep walking in faith, even when you can't see the way ahead. You keep praising God, even when you don't feel like it, because your praise is a declaration of your faith. It is saying, God, I trust you. I believe that you are working on something special for me, even when I can't see it. And when the time is right, when everything is ready, God is going to reveal what he has been working on. And when he does, it is going to be more than you could have ever imagined. It is going to be so special, so perfect, that you will look back and realize that every moment of waiting was worth it. In this journey of life, there will be times when you feel like you are walking alone. There will be times when you feel like nothing is happening, like you are stuck in a rut. But I want you to know that God is with you every step of the way. He is holding your hand, guiding your steps, and leading you towards something special. I want you to take a moment and reflect on this truth. God is working on something special for you. Say it to yourself, believe it with all your heart, and let it sink deep into your soul.
Because when you truly believe that God is working on something special for you, it will change the way you see your life. It will change the way you face your challenges. It will give you hope in the midst of your trials. And it will give you strength to keep going. Now, let's be honest. There are days when it's hard to see this truth. Days when it feels like the weight of the world is pressing down on you. Days when the struggle is so real that you wonder if God is still working on your behalf. And in those moments, doubt can creep in. Fear can take hold. You might even start to question, is this really going to work out for me? But here's the thing. God's plans for you are not dependent on how you feel. They are not shaken by your doubts, nor are they deterred by your fears. God's plans are solid, unchanging, and driven by His deep, unending love for you. Even on the days when you feel like giving up, God is still at work. Even when you don't see anything changing, He is still moving behind the scenes. You see, God doesn't operate on our timeline. We live in a world where everything is instant. We want answers now, solutions now, results now. But God's timing is different. He knows what is best for you, and He knows when the right time is to bring that special thing into your life. And often, that means waiting. Waiting can be one of the hardest things we do. It's in the waiting that our patience is tested, our faith is stretched, and our trust in God is truly put to the test. But it's also in the waiting that we grow the most. It's in the waiting that God is refining us, preparing us, and making us ready for the blessings He has in store. Now, let me ask you something. What would happen if you let go of your need to control the timing? What if you surrendered your timeline to God's perfect plan? What if, instead of stressing about when it will happen, you chose to trust that God knows the exact moment when everything will fall into place? When you let go and trust God's timing, something amazing happens. You find peace. You find a sense of calm that you didn't know was possible. You realize that you don't have to have it all figured out because God is the one who holds your future in His hands. And let me tell you, He holds it with such care, with such love, because you are precious to Him. It's easy to get caught up in the rush of life, to feel like you need to make things happen, to push through doors that aren't ready to be opened. But I want you to know that God doesn't need your help to bring His plans to pass. What He needs is your trust, your faith, your willingness to wait on Him. So, as you walk through this season of waiting, I want to encourage you to do something. Be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up for feeling discouraged at times. Don't think less of yourself if you struggle to keep the faith. God knows your heart. He knows your struggles. And He is not disappointed in you. He is with you, right in the middle of it all, guiding you comforting you, and reminding you that He is still working on something special for you. And here's the beautiful thing. When you finally see what God has been working on, you will understand why the wait was necessary. You will see that every delay, every detour, every moment of waiting was part of a bigger plan. You will look back and realize that God's timing was perfect all along. My dear friends, I want to remind you of something that we often overlook. God's work in your life is not just about the destination. It's about the journey. Yes, God is working on something special for you. But He is also working in you, shaping you into the person He has called you to be. It's easy to focus solely on the outcome we desire, to be so caught up in the future that we forget to live in the present. But the truth is, God is just as concerned with who you are becoming as He is with what you are receiving. He cares deeply about your character, your heart, and your growth. And it is during the journey, during the waiting, that He does some of His most transformative work in us. You see, my friends, the journey is where faith is built. 
It's where trust is deepened, where patience is developed, and where strength is forged. It's in the journey that we learn to rely on God in ways we never have before. It's in the journey that we discover just how faithful and loving He truly is. Think about the times in your life when you faced challenges, when things didn't go as planned, when you were stretched beyond your limits. It's in those moments that you grew the most, isn't it? It's in those moments that you learned to pray more earnestly, to trust God more fully, and to lean on Him more completely. And that's what God is doing in this season of waiting. He's growing you, refining you, and preparing you for the special thing He has in store. But here's something else I want you to consider. The journey is not just about you. God is working on something special for you. Yes, but He is also working through you. Your journey, your story, is a testimony of God's goodness and faithfulness. The way you walk through this season of waiting, the way you trust God in the midst of uncertainty, can inspire and encourage others who are going through their own challenges Sometimes we go through difficult seasons, not just for our own growth, but to be a light for others. Your patience, your unwavering faith can be the very thing that gives someone else the strength to keep going. You may not realize it, but there are people watching you, people who are looking to see how you handle the challenges in your life. And when they see you holding on to hope, when they see you trusting in God, even when things are tough, it gives them hope too. So. My dear friends, don't resist the process. Don't fight against the journey. Trust that God is doing a work in you that is necessary, that is purposeful, and that will bring forth something special. Trust that He is with you in every moment, even in the moments that feel like fire. Trust that He is making you into the person you need to be to receive the blessing He has for you. And as you walk this journey, I want you to hold on to hope. Hope is a powerful thing. It is the light that guides us through the darkest of times. It is the anchor that keeps us steady when the storms of life rage around us. Hope is what keeps us going when we feel like giving up. But I want you to understand something important. Hope is not just wishful thinking. Hope is not a naive optimism that ignores reality. Hope is rooted in the certainty of who God is. Hope is knowing that God is good, that He is faithful, and that He is working all things together for your good. So, even when the journey is hard, even when the waiting is long, hold on to hope. Hold on to the promise that God is working on something special for you. Hold on to the truth that He is with you, that He's with you, that He is for you, and that He will never leave you or forsake you. My dear friends, I know that the journey can be tough. I know that there are days when you feel like you can't take another step, but I want to encourage you to keep going, keep trusting, keep believing, keep hoping, because the journey is leading you to something special, something amazing something that is beyond your wildest dreams. And when you finally reach that destination, when you finally see what God has been working on, you will look back and realize that every step of the journey was worth it. You will see that God was with you all along, guiding you, shaping you, and preparing you for the blessing that was waiting just around the corner. My dear friends, as we delve deeper into how God is working on something special for you, I want to focus on the how. How will God do it? How will He bring about this special blessing, this breakthrough that you've been waiting for? First, let's acknowledge that God's ways are often beyond our understanding. He doesn't always work in the ways we expect, but His ways are always perfect. He sees the bigger picture, and He knows exactly what needs to happen to bring about the best possible outcome for your life. Sometimes, 
This means that God will do things in ways that surprise us, ways that we might not have imagined. 1. God will do it through divine timing. One of the most important aspects of how God works is His timing. God's timing is not like ours. We often want things to happen immediately, but God knows the perfect time to bring things to pass. He sees the end from the beginning, and He knows when you are ready to receive what He has prepared for you. You might be praying for something right now, and it feels like the answer is taking forever. But remember, God's delays are not His denials. He is orchestrating everything according to His perfect plan. He is aligning people, circumstances, and even your heart to ensure that when the blessing comes, it will be right on time. It's like planting a seed. You can't rush the process of growth. You plant the seed, you water it, and then you wait. It takes time for the seed to grow and bear fruit. In the same way, God is nurturing the seed of your blessing. He is watering it with His grace. And in due season, it will blossom into something beautiful. 2. God will do it through unexpected means. God is a God of surprises. He often works in ways that are completely unexpected. You might have a specific idea of how you want things to happen, but God might have a different plan, and His plan is always better. There are countless stories of people who thought they knew how their breakthrough would come, only to have God surprise them with something even better. Maybe you're expecting your blessing to come from a certain job, relationship, or opportunity. But God might have something entirely different in mind. He might open a door that you never even knew existed. God specializes in the unexpected. He loves to show up in ways that remind us that He is in control, that He is the one orchestrating the details of our lives. So, don't be discouraged if things aren't happening the way you envision. Trust that God knows what He's doing and be open to the surprises He has in store. Three. God will do it through your faith. Your faith plays a crucial role in how God works in your life. God responds to faith. He sees your trust, your belief in Him, even when things seem impossible, and He honors that faith. Sometimes, the breakthrough you're waiting for is tied to your faith. God may be asking you to step out in faith, to take a leap even when you can't see the whole staircase. He might be calling you to trust Him in a deeper way, to believe in His promises even when your circumstances don't match up. Faith is like a key that unlocks the door to God's blessings. It's the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It's the assurance about things we cannot see. When you walk in faith, you are aligning yourself with God's will and you are opening the door for Him to move powerfully in your life. So, how do you build your faith? You build it by staying close to God, by spending time in prayer, by reminding yourself of His promises, and by choosing to trust Him, even when it's hard. Faith is a muscle that grows stronger the more you use it. And as your faith grows, you will see God move in ways that you never thought possible. 4. God will do it through your obedience. Another key way that God works in our lives is through our obedience. When God gives you instructions, when He places something on your heart, He is often leading you to your blessing. Obedience is not always easy. Sometimes it requires sacrifice. Sometimes it means stepping out of your comfort zone. But obedience is always rewarded. God might be asking you to let go of something that's holding you back. He might be calling you to take a step of faith that feels risky. He might be nudging you to forgive someone, to serve others, or to pursue a new direction in your life. Whatever it is, your obedience opens the door for God to do something special in your life. Remember, God's commands are not burdensome. They are life. 
giving. They are meant to lead you into the fullness of what he has for you. And when you obey, you position yourself to receive his blessings. 5. God will do it through his grace and power. Ultimately, how God brings about the special thing he is working on for you comes down to his grace and power. God's grace is his unmerited favor. It's his goodness poured out on us, not because we've earned it, but because he loves us and his power is limitless. There is nothing too hard for God. He can do the impossible. He can make a way where there seems to be no way. He can turn things around in an instant. God's grace and power are what make all the difference. It's not about our strength or our ability. It's about His. And because of His grace, we can be confident that He will complete the work He has started in us. So, my dear friends, as you look ahead, as you continue to wait for God's special work in your life, remember that He is doing it all by His grace and power. It's not up to you to figure out how it will happen. It's up to you to trust, to believe, to obey, and to rest in the assurance that God is in control. 6. God will do it in His perfect way. Finally, God will do it in His way. His perfect way. His ways are higher than our ways. And His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. We may not always understand why things happen the way they do, but we can trust that God's way is always best. Sometimes, God's way involves taking us through a process, a journey that refines us and prepares us for what's ahead. Other times, God's way involves sudden breakthroughs, moments when everything changes in an instant. Whatever His way is for you, know that it is perfect. Know that it is filled with His love, His wisdom, and His goodness. Now, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank You for the promises You've spoken over our lives. We trust that You are orchestrating every detail, even when we can't see the full picture. Help us to stand firm in faith, believing that You are working all things together for our good. Father, we lift up our financial needs to You. You know our struggles, our worries, and the burdens we carry. We ask for Your divine provision, knowing that You are our provider. Open doors of opportunity, bless the work of our hands, and bring financial breakthrough where it is needed. Help us to be wise, stewards of the resources You provide, and let us trust that You will meet all our needs according to Your riches in glory. Lord, we also bring our need for healing before you. You are the great physician, the one who heals all wounds, both seen and unseen. We ask for your healing touch upon our bodies, minds, and spirits. Restore health where there is sickness, bring comfort where there is pain, and renew strength where there is weakness. Let your healing power flow through us bringing wholeness and renewal. Father, we seek your protection over our lives. Surround us with your angels. Guard us from all harm and keep us safe in your care. Protect our families, our homes, and our hearts from anything that would seek to steal our peace or cause us fear. Help us to rest in the assurance that you are our shield and our refuge. Lord, as we wait for your special work to unfold in our lives, give us patience and perseverance. Help us to trust in your timing and to remain steadfast in our faith. May we always remember that you are faithful, that you are good, and that your plans for us are filled with hope and a future. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.